Welcome back everybody. It's been a while, but we're still here. Let me try to log on and uh, get this running. There we go. All right, welcome back. I don't know if you remember, but lately we've been talking about the visual display processor of the Agon Light microcomputer. Within the VDP, we have certain sequence, character sequences that we can call using the VDU, the visual display unit. Today I thought I would fool around that's what I'm going to do today. Just fool around with VDU-19. Or I think it was VDU-17. We'll, we'll look at both. Now, I've been reading a wiki page. I think it's called Bib Wiki. To see if I can learn more about these character sequences using the VDU within BASIC or within the machine operating system, the MOS itself. Because when you start learning the inner workings of these uh, sequences or commands, then you will eventually, in my point of view, become a better um, programmer and it'll enable you to accomplish what you visualize probably a lot easier. So I'm still trying to grasp a lot of care, uh, concepts that I'm not familiar with. Since this is a new platform, it's evolving continuously and so many things pop up here and there. And to me, it's all just very exciting. It's something just to play around with, have fun. Today, I'm gonna show you what I mean. So I have my caps lock on right now. I'm gonna type in VDU for visual display unit and do a space 17. I'm going to put a comma and I'm going to put a zero. And you will see that if I put a number, I think it's 17, it will change the background. Well, it actually changed the character because you see it disappeared. So let me see. I think. If I put a one, it will change the background instead of a zero. So let me, right now the cursor, you can't see it, but it's still there. So I'm gonna do a CO dot to change the color. I'm typing this in even though you don't see it. I'm gonna put a, a number one, enter. You see, it's back. So I was typing right above where the cursor is right now. You just don't see it. And now we can see the cursor again because I changed the font to color one, which is red. I will go up with my arrow key to call back the commands I was using previously. And I will just change this number here to a one. Huh, nothing happened. So let me change it to maybe a two over here and see if something happens. No, maybe a three. Let me try BDU 19. I think it's 19. Oh, that's what it was. I was using the wrong BDU command. So you can see, check that out. Now this, I've been fooling around with this a little bit before making the video, but not too much. I usually like to show the real me, you know, how I, uh, what I encounter and what I learn as I go along. So if you'll notice, I'm typing in VDU19, comma one, comma three. And then we have this here. I still don't know why this happens, but if I do an up arrow, and now I switch it to a zero here, check it out. 
it changed the background to blue. So the color of the foreground color uh, characters were already blue. But now I made the background blue. I'm going to do a CO dot zero to make the font black. And let's see if this will hmm. CO dot zero. Hmm. It's not working. CO dot one. For whatever reason, I disappeared. Let's do a VDU 17 comma one comma three. Still nothing. I don't know what happened. Hmm. Maybe I need to do a control alt delete. And nothing happened there. Let me see. Control alt delete. Let me see if I can do a CO dot two. Nothing happens. So I'm gonna have to reboot. I'm gonna do a, a reset basically. I'm gonna reset the agon light. These are the things that I've been trying to understand, but uh, I don't have a lot of uh, documentation available to make sense of um, what I'm seeing happen on the screen when I use the functions of the VDU. So um, that's just very interesting, very interesting. I'm just gonna say seven o'clock. So we're back here again. Let me do VDU, got my caps lock on VDU 19, comma. I'm gonna do a one. Comma. I'm gonna do a three. Enter. Hmm. I have a black, black background, but I get this cross. I just don't know what that means. If any of you know, just let me know. It's very interesting. Now I'm gonna do an up arrow. I'm gonna change this number to a ten. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Nothing happened. Let me do a zero instead, because I know previously. All right, so here, okay, I'm still confused. So the one is for the foreground, the zero is for the background. Let me run that again using a different number. So I'm gonna do a five, that's a different shade. I'm gonna do a six, I'm gonna do a seven keeps changing, eight, oh, change to green. So now I'm gonna do a one over here to change the foreground, and I'm gonna do a 22. Changed it to white. I'm gonna do a 18, nothing happened there. I'm gonna do a 16. Nothing happened. Yeah, I'm not sure this is actually doing anything. A one. Let me run it again. A one. Nope, nothing. I just don't know. Let me do it. I like that color. That's pretty. But this is just very confusing. Earlier, let me see, because I believe I was using VDU 19, 0, comma, it's just a different shade of blue. I'm pretty sure I did 1, comma, 0, nothing. I'm going to do a comma. Ten, nothing. This is weird. So earlier we were getting a change in the foreground color with 
using the second value of 1. And now nothing is happening. Hmm. And when you read the wiki, the beep wiki, it, it talks about logical, physical, RGB, and I don't know what any of that means because I've been looking for what each thing represents within the VDP or VDU for the ion light, which is not necessarily the same as for the uh, BBC microcomputers. Let me try VDU 17 because I know that I have been doing something with 17. Maybe I'm just going to do that and see if anything happens. Oh, look at that. Now the color changed. So, yeah, this is confusing, guys. Let me see. 15. Nothing. Let me do a, a zero over here. Let's see if something happens. Just disappeared obviously because 18 again the same situation just disappeared so anyway this is not much of a video it's just to show you how frustrating this can be sometimes because I'm I'm just trying to make sense of this uh, VDU 1917 let me show you what the documentation shows for VDU 17 and 19 so you can see what I mean. I want to bring it up really quick. And uh, maybe you'll see how frustrating it can be sometimes, even though I, I find it fun, but it's still a little bit of frustration, you know? Because you're trying to use your time wisely and not spin your wheels without knowing what's really happening. So I'm going to do a more, well, let me show you the list of my directories. So I have a directory called docs. Okay. That's where I'm going to be looking for my documents. I save all my documents there. So the first thing I need to do is do the asterisk to change from the basic to the MOS prompt. And then I'm going to do a more. And instead of changing directories, I'm just going to navigate directly to that file, uh, to that directory and display a file that I know the name for. Okay. So I'm just going to type in, um, I have here MOS. So MOS. So I put the root MOS. The root is this here. Then MOS is the directory. And then I'm going to put the file name which is vdp.md, okay? This should work. It says cannot open source file. So let me do it without the, no. So I do probably need to change directories. Let me see. Oh no, I think I know. I just need to do a dot. No, it doesn't like that. MOS VDP. So that maybe I do need to change directories. CD MOS. Now, if I do a more, of that file. Maybe that file is not really VDPMD. Let me display the contents of the directory. And it says that it's... Oh, I saw Dummy me. I was switching into the MOS instead of the uh, DOCS. You probably were seeing that all along and then... <laughs> were trying to tell me. But you know what? I'm trying to get back into the groove, everybody. I've been away for a couple of days. I was moving from Puerto Rico to Georgia. I was uh, taking care of my father in Puerto Rico and uh, more. 
I've got a switch. I've got a switch. Change directories to C. And then let me. Maybe this will work. So now if I display the contents of this directory, there it is. Now it's VDPMD. There we go. So now it should work. Let me see if I can show you the contents of that file. So you can see what the 17 and the 19 represent. So 17 is color. Okay, yeah. So I was doing it wrong. So 17 is just the same thing as color. So you just put a number, a decimal number. Okay, so I was messing that one up. But 19, check it out. Check it out. For 19, we have VDU19. We have a comma with an, I, I believe that's an L, okay? Whatever L is, it's, I'm thinking it means logical. Then you have a comma and a P for physical. A comma and an R for red, comma, G for green, comma, B for blue. So that should be the same thing. This right here should be the same thing as if you called color, the command color, with an L for logical, comma, P for physical. So I'm assuming this is an L to represent a logical decimal number for a color and a P representing a physical decimal number for a color. That's what I'm guessing. I don't know. And then over here, apparently this is the same thing as this. So you have the command color with an L representing the logical number of the color. And this is going to be the RGB values that you're going to assign to that logical number of that color. I'm, I'm thinking that's how it should work, but for whatever reason, I'm going to exit here. So you can see down here, if I do the V, D, let me do it in upper and up um, uppercase V D U. Okay. Space. I do a 19 comma. Then we should have an L. Let's say I'm using the number one, which is a red comma, and then a physical. physical. I'm just going to say, let's do a five. I don't know. What will that do? It didn't do anything. I just get the little cross down here, which I don't even know what that means. Let me try something else. So if I do a, if I do a zero, zero, and a five. So I'm trying to make sense of the documentation and what happens. So if I do VDU 19 comma zero comma five, zero is for background apparently. Five is a color because if I change the five to a six, it changes the color. If I change it to a seven, it changes the color. If I switch to an eight, changes the color. So, however, if I enter and do a C O L O U R color, and I do an eight, I have a different shade. It's a different color. It's kind of like gray. So whatever that eight over here means, and where, where can we look these things up to figure out what they represent? I, I have no clue. I'm trying to make sense of this, everybody. If you know, and you can put a comment to point us in the right direction, I'm pretty sure everybody in our community will be grateful, very grateful. 
This might not be the most informative video. I hope you at least uh, enjoyed me fooling around here and making a lot of mistakes, but trying to learn. So everybody out there, stay safe. Take care of everybody else around you. And you know what? Until next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.